G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now we're gonna take a look at three SharePoint quick steps and how we can create a single click button and then run some predefined actions. Now you may have already seen quick steps or even use quick steps in Outlook and this concept is now coming to SharePoint as well and we're gonna dive into three of these in this video. So we can see on the screen here, I've got draft an email or the three that we're gonna take a look at. We're gonna draft an email, we're gonna start a Teams chat, and then we're also gonna have a look at set a value. We're gonna have a look at set a value first. So we can see that I'm in a SharePoint document library. I've got some metadata associated to this particular document library. Now to access or create our quick steps, we jump up to our more commands, we go to automate and we go to quick steps, then we can create a quick step. I'm going to select set a value. Now we can see here, I'm taken through this process. Show a command that will for each selected file set a value in the category column and I'm going to set this to finance, all right? I'm gonna name my quick step, set category to finance and I will hit create. That is now created. Now you can see that I can turn this on or off, all right? So if I don't need it at any given point in time, I can turn it off, make it or disable it and not make it available, or I can turn it on, all right? When I go back into it, you can see that I can also delete this quick step too, all right? So we can delete them, we can turn them on, we can turn them off, all right? So let's jump out, back out into here. Now to access these quick steps, I can select my file or multiple files. I can go to my more actions. I can go to automate and you can see that I've got this one click to set category to finance. Now you'll see, there we go. All of those documents have now been set to finance. Let's create another one to set a value, but this time I'm going to choose document owner. All right, so again, I'll go to automate. I'll go to quick steps. I'll go create a quick step. This time I'm gonna choose set a value again, but I'm going to choose a document owner and I will choose Frankie as the owner, all right? So set doc owner to Frankie and we'll hit create. Again, really, really good for bulk editing uh, metadata here. So I'm going to select these two here I'll go to the same menu, I'll go to automate, and I've now got set doc owner to Frankie. I'll click that, and those have now been set as well, all right? So setting a value is a quick step option. Now, the other two that we've got that we're gonna take a look at, let's create one where we will uh, send an email. So I'm gonna create a quick step, I'm gonna draft an email. So again here, show a command that will, for each selected file, draft an email, and I will enter this to uh, the document owner. So I'm gonna set this to the uh, whoever is in that document owner. So let's go send email to a document owner. And I could, if I wanted to include additional recipients on the CC, I could enter in there. Um, let's go, uh, please review this document. And I will include an item link in the message body and I'll hit create, all right? So now I've got three quick steps. Let's have a look at send an email to the document owner. So if I select this document and I click my three little dots or I could select this option here and then I'll go to automate. So. I'll click my three little dots, uh, apologies, my three little dots. I'll go to automate and I'll go to send email to document owner. So that is going to set, open up Outlook. You can see here, and I've got my item link and I can send that document to the document owner, all right? I'll hit send and off that email goes, all right? or. Let's have a look, I'll select three documents this time, I'll go to automate, but you'll notice that this doesn't allow us to select multiple documents and send an email. So this particular quick step, send an email, won't allow us to do that, whereas the set value does. All right, let's take a look at another one. So if I go to quick steps, I'll go create a quick step, let's start a Teams chat. 
So again here, show a command that will for each selected file, start a Teams chat with, again, I'm gonna choose document owner. Or I could type in an email address or a name and that will pick up from the directory as well. So document owner, uh, start a Teams chat with document owner. I'll include the link and I'll hit create. So now I've got my four quick steps. Now I'm just gonna turn these two off. All right, so let's toggle these off. I'll close this. All right, so I will select my file. I'll hit my three little dots. I'll go to automate and I'll go to start a Teams chat with the document owner. I will open this in Teams in the client. Okay, so that then allows me to, and let me just pop this out into a new window. What that has done has pop this chat, I've got the item link and I will hit send and that has then sent an item to Frankie with a link and we're now we can start a Teams conversation and a Teams chat. Now one thing that you'll see here is that the link actually doesn't, it's not a, it's not a hyperlink, all right? So what you might wanna do is actually edit this I'll copy this, which is a little bit of a a little bit of a pain. I'm sure things will uh, will fix up. Uh, and then what we can do is go to our link, and then we can paste that in there. And there we've got that particular link. And now we can set that. We can click it, and we can open the actual document. All right. So we jump back in here. Let's go back to our quick steps. I've got automate. I've got uh, under quick steps. Let's go to manage quick steps. And here we've got all of these that are on. I'm gonna turn these off, okay? And we could delete these as well. So let's jump in here. We don't need this one anymore. Click, we don't need this one anymore. We'll click this one. We won't need this. We'll click, we won't need this either and then these are all gone. Let me just refresh my page and let's have a look. So I'll jump into automate, I'll go to quick steps, I'll go to manage quick steps and you can see that we are all gone, all right? There we go, three quick steps that we took a look at. We took a look at uh, setting a value, we took a look at starting an email, and we took a look at uh, starting a Teams conversation. Three SharePoint quick steps available to you from your menu items in your SharePoint document libraries. Hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.